We have been told repeatedly, rescuers are moving fast but carefully. One wrong move could mean another disaster. We need to be sure that the pile does not uh, fall on them, that it does not fall on any possible survivors. What they've done is dig a trench beneath the rubble. So far, it's 125 feet long and 40 feet deep. There's an Israeli search and rescue team hoping to rescue people here, just like they did after the 2010 Haiti earthquake. We need more people down here. That's when crews found people alive eight days after the quake. Here on Sunday, for the first time, families of the missing were escorted to the disaster site. Meanwhile, this morning, there are questions that remain about the structural problems with this building. There was an assessment done by engineers in 2018, and one part took a look at the parking garage and found abundant cracking and spalling of varying degrees observed in the concrete columns, beams, and walls. Also in the report? Though some of this damage is minor, most of the concrete deterioration needs to be repaired in a timely manner. Absolutely. Why wasn't it? Timely can't possibly mean more than two and a half years later. That is attorney Brad Sohn, who is representing at least a dozen victims and was the first to file a lawsuit the day of the collapse. The association knew or should have known that there were structural integrity problems. It should have been addressed at the time that they became aware. Also in the report, this quote, the main issue with this building structure is that the entrance drive, pool deck, planter waterproofing is laid on a flat structure. There was no slope for drainage, so the water had to essentially evaporate. And that was David Begno reporting.